Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about how we can do the practice of big data Hadoop developer position. And let's say you want to do the practice of your Spark also. How you can start with the big data Hadoop developer position or data engineer. Some people are also calling it as a data engineer position. So obviously, like whenever you want to start your career in any technology, obviously you need to do some practice also, right? So where, where we can do the practice and uh, you know in big data we have multiple components are there like we have HDFS, Scoop, Hive, Spark is there and the installation steps are also little tricky and everyone will not understand that right. Most of the time when you join any company as a Hadoop developer this installation will be already there. So you don't need to install those component as a Hadoop developer or as a spark developer this will be already available there now if i want to do the same practice at my personal laptop how to start with that so i'm going to discuss about the two techniques through which you can do the practice at your own so the first technique is like where you can install the ubuntu what you can do you can install the ubuntu which is very very easy operating system and the installation steps are also very much easy and on the top of that Ubuntu, you can install your different different component of Hadoop like Hadoop, HDFS, Hive, Scoop, Spark, all those components of your Hadoop framework you can install on the top of it. And you can do a practice. You know, uh, the big best advantages of this uh, installation on Ubuntu is like you don't need more resources within your 8gb ram or 12gb ram also your installation will be fine and it will run very smoothly minimum 8gb ram is important to start with the installation of your hadoop component so this is one way another way i can tell you like by using or by installing the hortonworks cloudera platform hdp you can use you can install hortonworks platform so this is also very much and which is very very easy to start with the practice of your Hadoop framework because if you use this Hortonworks what will happen all those components related to the Hadoop will be automatically get installed it will be already installed and you just need to use it so your scoop, spark, edgebase, hdfs all these component all these components will be already there installed and you just need to install it but one problem I observe with the HDP is like, you know, it will take a huge space to run it on your personal laptop. So at least you should have 12 GB of RAM. That is what it needs. If you have some 4 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM, definitely it is not going to work. So what you can do, you can increase your RAM, check with your laptop vendor. What is the maximum RAM supported by your laptop? You can upgrade it to the maximum RAM. And you can start doing the practice so if you think that you have a good ram in your laptop and you just want to install HTTP, this is pretty much simple so on my screen i'll show you how you can you know uh, start with the HTTP. and you need to do one thing for that you just need to subscribe and share this channel and if you're looking for how to spark training you can reach out to me let's go to my screen guys first of all you need to search the download HTTP you can search like this Hortonworks data platform you can just click on that and you can see that it is available on your cloudera.com only there it is asking the installation type there are three ways are there to for the installation maybe you are using VirtualBox VMware Workstation or Docker now VMware Workstation or VirtualBox are providing the virtualization let me show you how you can do it for VirtualBox I'm assuming that you already have this virtual box software if you don't have you can just go here and you can search like oracle virtual box you will get the link from the virtual box oracle vm virtual box which is completely free of cost you can go there windows host and start downloading it i have already installed it and it will be looking like this let me show you it will be looks like this oracle vm virtual box okay now I'm clicking on the Oracle virtual box. Let's go. Now it will ask you to enter your basic details. If you don't have your user ID and the password, 
you need to specify your basic details like uh, for what purpose you are using it it is for the trial purpose or whatever it is just simply enter your details it is not going to ask your credit card details or something like that it's completely free of cost i have already registered with my user id and the password so i'm just clicking here let me enter my user id and the password once you enter your correct user id and the password now i think i have missed something let me use it one more time select all the images with palm trees eight two three verify login okay i think i have completely uh, i think i have successfully done that vm virtual box let's go i accept the license download here you can see that there are multiple versions are available the 3.0.1 which is the latest version and there is 2.6.5 and 2.5.0 is also there if you use the latest version you will get the latest version of spark which is 3.x if you use 2.6.5 you will get the older version of your spark so let's say you want to do some practice on latest version of spark i would recommend you to go with the hdp sandbox 3.0.1 this is a setup of 21 gb and it's already downloaded in my laptop so i place it here hadoop setup here this is how it will looks like this then what you need to do you need to open your vmware virtual box oracle vm virtual box click on file then import appliance and you need to select that file that file which you downloaded the size is around 21 gb so i place that in hadoop setup and this is the one which i download 3.0.1 you can just double click on it click on next you can change the location of your drive if you want to change it to the c drive or many other drive because your c drive will be full make sure that you have sufficient space available in your c drive if you want to change this location you can change it you can also change the base folder location also click on import and it will start so in my case i have already imported it and this is where you can see that if you want to start it you can just click on the start and it will take some time initially it will take some time for the setup later on it will not take much time to start the hadoop related services so this is how you can you know download your hdp hortonworks sandbox and your all the services will be already up and running and you it will be already started also i'll show you how you can utilize it how you can use it in the next lecture okay so i think it's already started let me open the firefox and localhost 8080 okay it's taking some time 1080 let me check that click on the launch let me go back it's it to start it will take some time to start it otherwise you must have get accept and close it okay so this is how you can see there is a user id and the password you can get click on the quick links here you can see the user id and the password is raj underscore ops i am also using the raj underscore ops user id and the password click on sign in and here i can see rest of the services are started like your hdfs yarn map reduce all these services are started if you want to take the remote connection of it you can use this putty software and click and i have already saved the connection this is the ip address of my machine let me click on that you can log in with the hdfs and hdfs is the password hdfs dfs hyphen ls if you want to run your hadoop command hdfs command you can just search like this now it is not wor working properly because my services has not started it will take some time to start the services so this is how you can do the practice if you think that this video is really helping you to start with the 
how to practice park practice you uh, you can just subscribe here and if you are looking for how to spark training you can definitely reach out to me thank you so much please do like subscribe and share this channel bye bye